Welcome back to Bob's Magic Emporium. Time for the next all-new Magician 101, the show for all magicians. Feeling a lot better today, too. Very excited about that. All right, uh, this is, uh, before we get started with today's show, we have a lot of really great questions. I want to talk about, first, uh, the video that was posted last Friday. Make sure you go watch that and sign up to be a contestant, if you haven't already, for Spin for a Million. We're going to start that on Friday, and you have until uh, Friday at noon. So Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time, you have until then to sign up to be a contestant. So make sure you do that if you haven't done that already. And make sure to post your questions down below for next week, and I'll give them an answer. The first question comes from Wayne Carter. He says, I hope you're feeling better. What is your favorite utility device? Um, my favorite utility device, I think I love a good TT. And if you're a magician, you know what that is. Especially if you're a silk magician, it's a way to make a silk vanish. So that's my favorite, probably, utility device. Because I don't use very many utility devices in my magic, like uh, ravens or anything, or tarantulas. I don't use things like that. So uh, my favorite, I think, that I do use is probably a TT. That's my favorite. Richie Peters has the next question. Great job for your determination. Thank you. He says, what... Uh, what are your favorite Tenyo tricks? Oh, I forgot this question was asked. Uh, good question. Okay, I have a lot of favorite Tenyo tricks. That's definitely going to be one of the final countdown categories. I don't know if it's going to be this Sunday or if it's going to be... A, it, it, will, it will happen one day. My favorite... I'm going to give probably my top three. Um, I think my favorite one just... And, and, and this list may be revised when I actually do this list for the final countdown. My favorite gimmick Tenyo item, like pure, purely just the gimmick, is the uh, the Crystal Cleaver. That's the one I have down here in the Magic Shop. I don't think you can see it. I think the camera's up too high. But that's the one with the, um, the sword and the ring and the box. That's an amazing one. The gimmick is so clever. Probably the best uh, Tenyo gimmick overall. I really love the Mini Metamorphosis. That's why I've been trying to find it for like the past five years with no success. The one I did get. Oh, if you didn't hear the story was damaged and I got a return for it. But that's a fun that that's a fun trick to do. Uh, and I know the secret to it now, so it's still even it's still even more fun. Uh, the the secret and just performing the trick. And then my other favorite Tenyo trick I really love is I think probably because it's 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 my newest Tenyo trick and it's so fresh is the 4D trunk. I love that one too. That's a fun way to make a golf ball appear from this little tiny briefcase. Oh, and I do love the 4D surprise, too, where you make the Statue of Liberty appear. That's a fun one, too. All right, Philip E. has the next question, and he says, uh, what is your favorite rope? Hang on, just a moment. I just lost the question. Um, there we go. All right, it says, what is your... No, we don't. Okay. What? Sorry. Sorry. The the uh, It's like I hit the back button or something, and I don't know. He says, what is your favorite rope shoelace trick? Also, what is your favorite summer Olympic sport? Finally, do you have any art, any artsy hobbies? Thank you, and hope you get better soon. Thank you very much. Um, my favorite rope shoelace trick, I don't do many of those either, but I have three. And one's technically not a rope shoelace trick. I'll, I'll explain more in a moment. My favorite one, I think, is Chris Ballinger's Frayed Knot. I love that one. It's a multi-phase routine, and there's a lot of comedy built into it. I also love the uh, card on the rope routine. That is done uh, with a piece of rope. You stick it in, the, in, in something. You put a deck of cards in there. A card was selected. You pull it out, and the card is now around the rope. That's a fun trick. My other one is not a, a rope trick, but it is a it, but it but it's a rope trick premise. It's the not a card trick, and it's a uh, classic of magic. Uh, the premise is, but you have a rope. Uh, that you drew on the back of your playing cards. And you do the cut and restored rope with playing cards. That's a lot of fun. And then at the end of the trick, you take the knot off of the card that was selected. You show it, and the card now doesn't have a knot on it. A lot of fun. All right, and Tyler Lunsford Magic says, what do you think about Absolute Time by me? Feel better. Uh, sorry about that. Last week I was supposed to review this, but I completely forgot what the trick was about because I wasn't feeling very well. So I was like, oh, duh. So I went back and rewatched it, and I'm like, yeah, that was it. So the trick, uh, the, the premise of the trick is you have a card selected, 
and you do somewhat of a sandwich routine. Uh, basically, you give, you give uh, an indifferent card to a spectator, you keep their card, and then the cards switch places. So now the spectator has their own card, you have the indifferent card. Um, you know, it's sort of like um, uh, the, the classic a magic trick. I call it the one card Monty, where you uh, uh, give the spectator a card, and then you show uh, uh, another card, and then the cards switch. Uh, but it's still a really cool trick, and the card can be signed, and you uh, hold on to their signed card, and then it g gets uh, get back to them. So, really a fun trick. I like it. Uh, probably, uh, probably ranks up there as one of my favorite tricks you've created. So, very good job on absolute time, and um, I, I love it. I, I think it, I think it was really cool. Um, so yeah, I I definitely I recommend going to check it out because the video it's hard. Some of these tricks Tyler puts out is a little hard for me to explain. Well, you have to go watch it to really to get the full wow impact of it. And this is one where I think you should go watch it to see. Oh wow, cool! Because it's it's a really good trick. Uh, Tyler never disappoints with his magic. I gotta tell you, he's really good at everything he creates, and I definitely recommend going to purchase some of Tyler's tricks. Um, I haven't yet. I want to get a couple of his tricks, but I haven't yet because I haven't had the money. I spent the money on something else, <laughs> so I haven't had the money to spend on getting tricks for Tyler, uh, from Tyler, for Tyler. For Tyler is not right. I'm not getting him tricks. I'm buying his. Anyways, you understand what I'm saying. So go check out Tyler's page, and all the info is on his page about uh, how to buy his really awesome tricks. Okay. The final question comes from Brendan Shepard. He says, besides the bed of boxes, I think he means besides the uh, nest of boxes, I think is what he means. Besides the bed of boxes, what are some great object to impossible location tricks? Um, again, unfortunately, I don't do too many of those in my show either. I do the nest of boxes, which is up here. Uh, one of my, uh, that's my all-time favorite. Very pricey. It's like $500, but... I, you know, at first I was like, I don't want to spend the money for this, but I'm glad I did. Because this thing, first of all, if you do a lot of kids' shows, pays for itself. Or if you do a lot of shows that you get paid for, it uh, pays for itself. But just the wow factor of the trick is amazing. Especially the way I present it when I have a spectator hold on to the box the whole show, and then they bring it up on stage. It makes it a little more magical. Another really good car, uh, another really good impossible location trick is... Uh, card to impossible location. There's some great ones on the market. My favorite is down here. I don't think you can see it. The Clarity Box by David Regal. Again, another pricey trick. It's like 90 bucks, but it's still a lot of fun to do because, you know, especially because the card is shown in that box the whole time. Sometimes with card to impossible location, the impossible location is sitting in full view the whole time, but you can't see the card. With this one, it's great because the card is shown. They see something, they see a folded up card in there, and then you dump it out. So it looks completely fair and legit, the whole trick. And the whole show, if you have it sit there, the whole show. So that's one of my favorites. Um, I think that's all the, I'm trying to make sure I don't have any more impossible location stuff. Yeah, that's kind of the only two that I do do on my show on a regular basis. Uh, is those two uh, tricks, and they're, they're, and they're really good, so I recommend those two. Um, but, you know, this is this is what I love about being a magician is we help each other. So if any of you have any comments down below of your favorite object to impossible location, it doesn't have to be a card, it can be a ring or whatever, leave that in the comment. I'm sure Brendan, or in the comments, I'm sure Brendan Shepard will read those uh, if you post those for him. So that's why I love doing this show, because it's not just me helping you guys, but you can help each other out too by leaving your suggestions in the comments below. And it might help me out, too. I might walk, look at one of your comments and be like, I've never seen that trick before. Go look up and be like, well, cool, and go buy it. So you never know. All right. That's going to do it for this week's Magician 101. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love doing this show. i, I got to tell you, I say, it all, I say it a lot. It's my favorite show to do. It really is. I think out of all the shows on my channel, this is my favorite one. Make sure, again, to sign up for Spin for a Million. Leave your questions down below. For next week, I'll give them an answer. And, again, I'm still pushing this. Make sure to go check out all my social media. Links for all that's in the comments down below, or in the description down below. I'll see you next week for another all new Magician 101. If you'd like to see more awesome content, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. New videos are posted every day of the week. Also, check out my website and register so you can post in the forums. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Like me on Facebook. Add me to your Google Plus circles and check out my merchandise store to pick up some awesome swag.
444RR, game shows, magic, and more.